step. When I was 14, I thought I knew what love meant. When I was 14, I thought I had it all figured out between Hollywood movies, grown-up examples, and church sermons about putting everyone else first. I was a perfect student, and I drank that poison down. So when my first love shamed my fears and hesitations by asking, do you really love me? It's no surprise that the hunger for understanding and the need to hear you say you loved me burning behind my eyes was stronger than the little voice inside my heart quietly stammering no. Not no, I don't love you, just no. I wish I'd known then, love makes compromises, but love is not compromising myself. Love is not the same as sacrifice, despite having grown up on those lies. But when the need to feel valuable shadowed the need for safety, I swallowed down those nail polish remover tasting definitions of what love meant, like I was throwing back a shot of cheap vodka, swallowing hard and fast before the acetone flavor could hit me. When I was 14, I thought I didn't deserve love, but maybe if I was good enough, I could win some. Like, love was a game of Monopoly, and I'd started my play in debt, slowly paying off the requirements with paper pieces of my own integrity. When I was 14, I took I love you to mean I owed you something. And with every drunken sacrifice I barked up in the name of love, I paid a price in more than just skin. Unless skin is all I am, in which case, how can I know what love is anyway? But you thought Bob raised on those lies too. And when you translated your own shame and selfish needs into saying that you needed me, I just wanted to believe you. In a way, we were like children in each other's arms. Neither one of us knew better than the other, which makes it harder for me to hold my crimes against you. As we took our own fears and self-torments and painted them on each other and called that picture love. I swore I'd never leave you, even if staying with, me with you meant substituting pain for truth. When I was 14, I thought silencing everything I am to hear three words from someone else's tongue was the highest sign of affection, and I wouldn't have believed it if someone told me love could be bittersweet without the bitter. When I was 14, I thought I knew what love meant. An old proverb states that the wisest man is the one who knows how little he knows. And claiming to understand what love means is like claiming I'm not drowning, I'm just amphibious. When my friends kept asking me, my head was underwater. Mm, so I might not know everything, but now, I at least know as much. You can never love someone else until you love yourself. When I was 14, I wish I drank that message down instead. When I was 14, I thought I knew what love meant. But love is not a synonym for fear and can only ever taste like honey. When I was 14, I thought I knew what love meant. But having loved you taught me otherwise. Woo!